Uh, guess what I'm filming here right now with? Just wait a second, I can show it to you. <laughs> here with this uh, screen here, secondary screen. I'm filming now with the Huawei P50 Pocket and I have my Mate XS here as you can see and we want to try out to see which one of those foldable phones, one flip and one normal foldable phone, has the edge in terms of vlogging capabilities as I do my usual camera comparison. So let's get started. As shown before, you can record with the front side or back side display and see yourself on the Mate XS or the P50 Pocket. This is what makes them so special, those two phones, and very, very good for vlogging. In terms of camera setup, you get a 50 megapixel uh, ultra, uh, is it ultra? No, it's a wide angle lens on the P50 Pocket, and you get a 40 megapixel one on the Mate XS. And here you can see all the other specs of those uh, cameras. And uh, yeah, we start with the usual with a vlogging style video to see which one is better. So this is now the Mate XS uh, running here and recording in 4K 60 frames per second. External microphone attached as usual via the USB Type-C port. And I think it has a very good auto gain control here, just like every Huawei phone has. And this is the main lens right now, but I can also switch to the ultra wide angle. I have a nice little zoom view here and I can go to the ultra wide angle. You can see a much wider field of view, less bokeh, however, but I think contrast and colors and HDR looks good and stabilization is yeah, perfect. I would say I use this for vlogging in New Zealand and it's still one of the best camera setups even two years later. And now the Huawei P50 Pocket, also 4K 60 frames per second. And this is what you can expect in terms of quality. It's a different sensor, but I think the bokeh is also as nice, is it? Just write it down in the comment section. How about colors and stabilization here? Also 4K 60 and guess what? I can also switch to the ultra wide with a double tap. And here I am in the ultra wide angle. And I think it is even a bit wider than on the Mate XS, which allows you to yeah, get more into the shot, which is also pretty nice indeed. Also 4K 60 frames per second recordable on the ultra wide angle in contrast to the Huawei P50 Pro that I also have here in my pocket that also features a 13 megapixel ultra wide angle but doesn't support 4k 60 frames per second recording sun is out here right now you can see some nice bokeh and you can see some nice hdr shot here as well if i turn around to the sun for example my face should be not really exposed now because the sun is directly behind me but yeah this is what you can expect in terms of quality on the huawei p50 pocket so now recording with the P50 Pocket 4K60 and I can zoom in here, but it's a digital crop. So I'm roughly now at two times zoom now. You can see it is quite smooth because it's just a digital crop. And I can zoom in six times now. This is the maximum I can zoom in. Now let's compare it with the Mate XS. So this is now 4K 30 frames per second. And if I zoom in here, oops, if I zoom in here and go beyond three times, it switches to the tailor lens and I can go up to 10 times. And you can see how much clearer this looks like in comparison to the P50 Pocket. I had to rush to this boat a little bit, but yeah, I managed to capture it. I think it's the quality is much, much better than uh, with the P50 Pocket's zoom. So one advantage for the Mate XS, you have a tailor zoom lens. And if you flip the Huawei P50, P P50 Pocket open, you have another camera, 10 megapixel, that can also record 4K 60 frames per second. How awesome is this? It doesn't feature any um, autofocus or has nice bokeh, but it is yeah, wide enough. And if you want to see yourself on a bigger screen than this tiny little round screen, one inch screen, on uh, the p50 pockets outer shell then this one is also pretty awesome and pretty good especially also for photos here we have the photos on the left always the mate xs on the right always the p50 pocket what we see on the first glance is we have a much warmer kind of 
tone on the Maid XS. We have a much cooler kind of tone on the P50 Pocket. Just look at the water. It's a much more yellowish looking and much more bluish looking here. Same for the sky. You can see there's much more blue in the sky on the P50 Pocket and it's a bit more yeah, yellowish on the Maid XS. You can see the sun as well. You can see the sun flare. Uh, nicely and you can see the foreground a lot darker on the Maid XS a lot brighter on the P50 Pocket but also punchier colors as you can see there's much more punch in the green grass when it comes to details I think the P50 Pocket has slightly better HDR you can see it here in the scene where this is like slightly overexposed and a bit unsharp on the Maid XS and here maybe a little bit sharpened up on the P50 Pocket but it doesn't look too artificial on the P50 Pocket and of course the bluish kind of water in terms of detail level otherwise almost the same just look at the background here not much of a difference that you can see here um, you can see maybe a little bit brighter here interestingly enough the made excess but uh, anyway this is what you can see here in terms of HDR and daylight uh, zoom shots this is the first zoom shot that I took here and uh, the native lens three times on the Maid XS and uh, yeah you can read what what's going on here on the p50 pocket it's the two times digital crop on the main sensor and no you cannot read what's going on here and you can see yeah immediately that it's worse and yeah the Taylor lens on the Maid XS retains the same kind of yellow yellowish kind of hue that you don't have on the p50 pocket but uh, yeah it's better on the Maid XS. Telelens test number two again I think this is now five times zoom and you can see it is a bit worse on the Maid XS but it's still way better than on the P50 Pocket which is just like falling apart simply because it doesn't have a telelens that you can use for this. And then this is I think 30 times zoom on the Maid XS which is the maximum that you can take here on this one I think and uh, the P50 Pocket has also I think it's 10 times maximum zoom that you can take here and uh, yeah basically it looks almost the same in terms of uh, yeah, level here so yeah the Mate XS has the better zoom lens and uh, when it comes to ultra wide angle it's interesting because the P50 Pocket has a much wider field of view you can see again more blue more pronounced more punchy colors the green in the grass here also more punchy a wider angle field of view and uh, you can uh, see that the Maid has warmer colors overall warmer tone but still bluish kind of tone but not as blue as on the p50 pocket when it comes to details level i think no the uh, the ship here was a bit closer by on the Maid XS, but still you can see that there's a bit more sharpening going on in the p50 pocket but in general i think it is um a bit sharper, a tad sharper, not only because of sharpening but also when I go to the edges here you can see that uh, yeah it's getting a bit softer here on the Maid XS but and you can see much more green grass here it is of course artificial sharpening what the Maid XS which the Maid XS is not doing so much we can see also the different angle of view then close-up shots interestingly enough the Maid XS wide angle super wide angle ultra wide angle can get up pretty close and I can get this shot here I'm not sure if it switched to the uh, to the uh, ultra wide angle for this to the macro shot but it looks much better on the Maid XS and on the P50 Pocket I could not get this little flower in focus at all but when I go to 100% what you can see is it is not 100% in focus on the Maid XS and on the P50 Pocket it is 100% in focus but you're getting not so close so the P50 Pocket has a problem you could think but if you get a little bit bigger objects just like this one here it's getting it's redeeming itself a little bit again the Maid XS this is the macro mode super macro mode I think it's called and if I go to 100% you can see wow I can see much uh, details of this little flower on the P50 Pocket I have to be a bit uh, further away with the main cam at least uh, it doesn't have a super or uh, ultra macro mode uh, to get this shot you can see the bokeh is a bit busy and you can see some details but it's nowhere near this one here it is yeah almost if I zoom out on the Maid XS it's almost the same kind of field of view that I get on the P50 Pocket but what I can do on the P50 Pocket I can get a bit closer while uh, using the ultra wide angle 
So if I switch to the ultra wide angle that has an ultra wide angle field of view, I can get a bit closer. And now if I zoom in, you can see, oh, it's getting pretty damn close to the Mate XS. It is a bit further away, but you get lots and lots of detail. You get a nicer creamy bokeh. And I think it should also be still be recognizable as macro shot, even though the Mate XS beats it here in terms of getting close uh, to the subject, it is still uh, pretty awesome. And here um, the Mate XS also in super macro mode has the option to zoom in two times, which is I think a crop on some sensor. And you can then get even closer and get even more details here, which is like super, super phenomenal on the Mate XS. So in macro mode, um, the P50 Pocket is not bad, but the Mate XS yeah, beats it, hands down. Uh, this shot here again very very close the only difference that you notice here is that there's slightly more contrast on the Mate XS you can see it here in the building which is a bit darker it's a bit brighter exposed here again a bit more yellowish kind of hue a bit more bluish kind of hue on the P50 Pocket when it comes to details level I think because it's a bit adding a bit more, more contrast on the Mate XS it tends to look a bit sharper but a bit more natural on the P50 Pocket even though the P50 Pocket is doing a little bit of more blue here which is like punching the color which is not so realistic I have to say um, it's more pleasing to the eye a little bit I have to say it's a bit brighter here and of course a slightly different angle of view here but still both did a good job I would say and yeah Instagrammable I would say uh, when it comes to this shot I have to really say I like the Made XS shot here better even though it's a bit darker exposed you get a bit more contrast again look at the background here but the, the, the bokeh is just looks so natural and so artistic in a way. Almost you can see this is like always uh, already out of focus. This is only in focus. And here on the P50 Pocket, a lot more is in focus here. If I go to the background here, the bokeh, it's not so creamy. It's like super busy and swirls going on. And here you can see the bokeh balls. They're like almost visible and here none visible. I'm not sure what's going on here, why that is. They have, I think, slightly different sensor sizes and uh, the Mate XS, however, I think also has a wider aperture, uh, which allows to create such uh, creamy bokeh balls uh, or the software is better optimized. I like the Mate XS shot here better in terms of this, uh, but of course the P50 pocket shot is like HDR is kicking in. It's getting rid of a little bit of the shadow here, lighting up the scene a little bit here and there. It's also a very nice shot. The more artistic shot is the Mate XS, uh, the more Instagrammable shot probably would be the P50 Pocket because it looks a little bit sharper here, probably is also a bit doing in terms of over sharpening stuff, but has a little bit less bokeh here. So this is why I think the sensor on the Mate XS is a bit bigger here. Then another ultra wide angle shot just to compare here the different uh, differences again in terms of uh, wide angle field of view. You can see here is a chimney that you don't see at all on the Mate XS. Then what you can also see here is, yeah, like a bit of haze on the Mate XS. Not sure if it's the sun or something like this. And when I go here to the bridges or the bridge, first of all, what you can see here, the black things are not like dirt or anything. These are just birds flying. And on the Mate XS, they were not flying there for some reason or it didn't get them. I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> Anyway, what you can see here is, again, a clearer picture on the P50 Pocket. There's a bit of haze going on the Mate XS. The P50 Pocket is doing some post-processing to get rid of the haze, probably. It's sharpening up things a little bit, adding a bit of more contrast, but I think it has just more sharpness in uh, overall here. And this is, like, helping a lot. And uh, the Mate XS looks a bit more natural, maybe. But it's soft in general, so the ultra wide angle is a lot softer than on the P50 Pocket. You can take a look at the tree here and just take a look at the tree here. Uh, of course, granted, the Mate XS is at this edge already, and the P50 Pocket can go a little bit further away. Um, but you can see also the background, like HDR, it's like soft and, and the haze going on here on the Mate XS. So the P50 Pocket maybe overdoing it a little bit with the color here, punching it a little bit, but sharpness and so on. You can see the ultra wide angle is better on the P50 Pocket uh, in general, even though it is punching in more colors. And what I did not test out and what would be very interesting to see, and maybe I one day do it on the P50 Pocket, is to disable the AI to see if it, I get rid of this punchy colors 
or if it will keep the punchy colors which we would be also interesting to see so this is basically everything we are back at the start what do you think which one is the clear winner here i have to say it's a bit hard to decide the matex s definitely has more i think kind of like mm, neutral kind of colors more toned down kind of colors the p50 pocket more punchy uh, time uh, colors both with ai assistant on and everything basically automatically shot um i think the p50 pockets ultra wide angle is sharper the main lens i like the matex s a little bit because it's like creating a bit more artistic kind of shots that you can get but not always it's not so consistent and the p50 pockets main camera is a bit more consistent uh, when it comes to yeah, taking instagrammable like shots um, if you know what i mean so these are the daylight shots uh, let's check out uh, both phones in night time so uh, low light test and a microphone test with the huawei p50 pocket how does it look like is there grain it's night time right now uh, about uh, nine o'clock right now uh, outside here and uh, recording with the internal mics on the p50 pocket 4k 60 frames per second so it's a bit darker than 30 frames per second but it's a bit lighter here anyway because there's lights around me and yeah what do you think about the p50 pocket and now same situation with the huawei mate xs also using the main camera nighttime. 4k 60 frames per second same uh, lighting situation still the same lights here and uh, yeah uh, how's audio quality also recording with the internal mics of the mate xs i have to say because the mate xs is a bit more heavy it feels a bit more stable to hold uh, than a little bit easier to hold than the p50 pocket just it has the right amount so that you can hold it a little bit longer and more stable than the p50 pocket do you see it also in terms of stabilization here what i notice when i'm holding the device itself it would be very interesting to know so what do you think about the nighttime videography and just because i can now 4k 30 frames per second do you notice any difference in terms of lighting of course a little bit more blur probably uh, but is it a bit brighter here on the p50 pocket i think the p50 pocket has the better low light videography mode at least um, first glance it looked a lot better than the mate xs now even with 30 frames per second as well i'm in a bit of a darker lit situation here uh, where there's not any uh, much street light here around me so what do you think about this one here with the p50 pocket and now the huawei mate xs in the same low light situation i'm coming going towards a, a light here light source so it's getting a bit brighter 4k 30 frames per second as well because i can internal mics as well is the quality a little bit better than the 60 frames per seconds that was like abysmal in comparison to the uh, p50 pocket so i think in terms of nighttime videography the p50 pocket definitely has an edge what about the nighttime photography do you also think that it has an edge there write it down in the comment section so now as i cannot believe that this is so bad on the mate xs i just went to the pro mode set manual settings iso 1250 and we have a shutter speed of 1 over 60s there's a bit of light here brighter situation so how is the quality here i think it's still recording 4k 30 frames per second on the huawei mate xs i think it can redeem itself with this manual mode but it's a bit of weird that i have to go into the manual mode in the pro mode for video on the mate xs but at least i have the chance to do so which is a nice good feature and now the same settings on the Huawei P50 Pocket, also using the manual mode in uh, video pro mode. And here also 1250 ISO and 160th of a second shutter speed. So how's the quality here when I go to the light? I think the algorithms here on the P50 Pocket are slightly better and they have the possibility to give you a better, nicer image. Is that true? Write it down in the comment section. So we have here the night uh, photos on the left, again the Mate XS, on the right always the P50 Pocket. What we can see here on first glance is a bit more punchier, a bit more contrasty look on the P50 Pocket. In terms of brightness, maybe slight edge on the Mate XS, but it's very, very close. What you can see here is the cap, for example, is much darker on the P50 Pocket and much more realistic on the Mate XS, I have to say. Here it's adding a bit too much punch. But when you take a look at the background here, 
take a look at this and at this you can see much clearer much sharp more sharper on the p50 pocket and much less noise on the p50 pocket uh, both using uh, night mode here in a very very dark condition i could not see it with my own eyes here when let's go to the bit more stuff that i could see with my own eyes still dim lit situation still very dark i'm very impressed by the p50 pocket raising really it looks like it was the sun behind me or like a light source a bright light behind me on the mate xs it's not so much uh, the p50 pocket clearly wins here not only because it's like white <laughs> the light here and yellowish kind of on the mate xs but as soon as i go in and take a look at the details you can see this is a white wall <laughs> and this is a yellow wall here for some reason but also the details here just try to read i can almost read the text here which is super super small but if i go here to this uh, boxes here i can read the text i can read 100 and something and here i cannot read anything i can read class in here i cannot read it and here i can well, maybe see manx but led bulbs that i can read here led bulb i cannot read on the main access so nighttime yeah it looks like uh, the uh, p50 pocket beats the mate access but now let's go out and look at different light sources and so on just like i did in my videos to see how this copes now here what you can see is here the exposure is pretty much the same not much of a difference uh, the light sources here i think a bit more controlled on the p50 pocket could also mean it has like i think a smaller aperture and when we take a look at the overblown highlights or something like this, you can see Black Lounge is readable. It's not so overblown as on the Mate XS. But the Mate XS has a little bit like the Spielhalle here, a little bit, uh, or the, yeah, Spiel, uh, a little bit sharper here, where this is yeah, already a little bit like, yeah, it, it's washed out, basically, not so sharp. But when we take a look at the bricks and the details in the bricks, you can see there's something missing on the Mate XS. It looks almost like it's a complete wall with maybe some bricks, but here you can clearly see that there are bricks and different bricks even here over the window, for example. And also here in the back, it's harder to see, but here it's like mm, a complete solid wall and here you can see uh, it might be brick, brick stuff. When you go to the center, interestingly enough here, both had uh, struggle, uh, struggling with sharpness but the Mate XS keeps the sharpness a little bit better here and uh, we can see that we have all blown highlights here and when I go here it looks, looks bad it looks worse on the P50 pocket actually uh, and uh, yeah especially the sign for the river center is like overblown but we have overblown highlight here and here we have not so overblown highlight um, anyway, let's go to the next one, talking about overblown highlights. A little bit overblown here as well on uh, the Mate XS. A little bit better controlled, the contrast, uh, which speaks also for the P50 Pocket that has better HDR. You can read the uh, pharmacy name, Capucina, uh, which is a little bit harder to read here. When we go and take a look at the pharmacy itself, you can see more details here than here on uh, this uh, the sign here of the pharmacy a little bit unsharp on the made access a lot sharper here on the p50 pocket a little bit more yellowish on the p50 pocket more white uh, color on the made xs which is also interesting then a dark alley on first glance it looks like it was taken from the same phone but it is a different phone uh, and you can see slightly different um, view a little bit more left here on the Mate XS, a bit more right here. Now when we take a look at the details again, we see that everything's smoothed out here. Here you can see bricks, here you don't. Here you don't see any lines in uh, the uh, window. Here you can see lines in the window, so there's some shades. Uh, and uh, yeah, the brickwork here, brickwork there, wall. More details on the P50 Pocket. Handling light sources, I think also better a little bit. Uh, you can also see it, I think, was it here? Maybe the next photo. Uh, then uh, favorite, our favorite pizza, Capone's Pizza. Uh, and uh, here we have a very interesting effect that is like super, super weird. This is the main camera. We have more realistic color, I think, on the Mate XS because it's not so yellowish in there. 
Uh, we have more eye-pleasing P50 Pocket, but it's not realistic because it's not what I saw with my own eyes. And when I zoom in, it is a little bit unsharp here, I have to say, and I think the Mate XS does a better job here. Take a look at the uh, windows here and what's inside the window. You can see it more clearly. On the P50 Pocket, unsharp, but the P50 Pocket handles the exposure here a little bit better, where the Mate XS just doesn't. And uh, when it comes to car, Mate XS better definitely and also this here a lot more blurry on the p50 pocket so i'm not sure what's going on in the p50 pocket this is both taken with automatic mode um, which is interesting because in automatic mode the mate xs when you use the single camera is doing basically night photography um, but when i zoom in two times digital crop here and compare it with the two times digital crop of the p50 pocket the p50 pocket in automatic mode does night mode when you zoom in the Mate XS does not, <laughs> so you don't get the night mode uh, capability. So you get like daylight almost on the P50 Pocket and nighttime on the Mate XS. Mate XS probably a little bit more realistic. No, it is not. In this case, it is a bit too dark. And so I was posing for this here. And uh, yeah, it's clear, even if it's not so sharp on the P50 Pocket, the exposure just simply makes it look a little bit yeah, more pleasant. You can see more details simply. and. The interesting thing is, yeah, now this is five times, you can compare five times, yeah, this is three times a native zoom on uh, the Mate XS. You can see it has a native telezoom that it's really used and it's super, super sharp. And now I'm five times cropped in on the P50 Pocket. Look how unsharp it is. Even if I go to five times digital zoom, which is like cropping in on the tele lens, it is a night and day difference. The Mate XS zoom capability is like legendary almost. But I can also turn on uh, nighttime photography for the two times zoom or crop in on the main sensor and this is what you will get it's the opposite of what we had like it's like using the color scheme of this one here so everything a little bit yellow yellowish maybe yeah a bit more yellowish a bit more um, than this i don't know what's going on here why it chose to do this but uh, two times zoom uh, against uh, two times zoom we can see the p50 pocket when it comes to cropping into the main sensor has probably the better main sensor because you get more sharpness here you get more details uh, which you get more noise on the mate xs and less uh, details here which is a bit uh, astonishing but as soon as you go to the three times uh, optical even if in night mode it's just like uh, no chance uh, for the p50 pocket it's just like super super good and uh, five times even uh, a little bit grainy here uh, but in comparison to this one which one would you choose definitely the mate xs so zoom times in night shot definitely the mate xs now interestingly enough super ultra wide angle on both mate xs p50 pocket and it looks like the p50 pocket was using night mode the mate xs was not uh, it's not true both automatic and for some reason p50 pocket is shooting yeah night mode by default in automatic mode and the mate xs is not so what can I tell you? Yeah, it looks a lot better on the P50 Pocket ultra wide angle. We figured out already in daytimes that the ultra wide angle is a bit wider on the P50 Pocket, but has also more details and a bit more sharpening. Uh, it's simply better here in night mode. You can in, in in night photography you can see it. Night mode activated. Interesting enough, a little bit of cool down, a bit more greenish kind of look, I would say, on the Mate XS. It looks a bit more realistic because it was not so yellowish. The light that was uh, the light source there. Um, and when it comes to sharpness, it can redeem itself a little bit. But just look at the entrance here of this church and look at the entrance here. You don't even see the knob that is there or the, the little, I don't think, is it a knob? I think it's a knob. You can see another P50 pocket here, it's just like noise <laughs> and you don't see it. So the P50 pocket is still better here in its automatic mode. But if I go into P50 pocket and choose night mode, it's basically what the Mate XS did in automatic mode. So for some reason, I'm not sure what's going on on the P50 Pocket Night Mode. It's doing some strange behavior. You get a lot more greenish kind of colors. Um, but still, if I compare it here, even with the Night Mode photo, Night Mode shot is a lot more exposed. Is a little bit more details, a little bit sharper here going on on the p50 pocket let's do some exposure tests here again a bit too red on the mate xs the background here and there was an orange light source definitely but it's look looking more realistic here on the p50 pocket uh, even though i think the clarity on the mate xs is a bit better on the main sensor here 
uh, when it comes to exposure here i think maybe slightly a little bit better on the p50 pocket as you can see here uh, a bit of more colors and uh, details there that you that are lacking here when we zoom in um, and zoom in here you can see on the automatic mode again the mate xs is uh, doing its thing with the p50 pockets doing a basic night mode photography and we go up to the night mode photography and here the night mode photography again uh, mate xs if you zoom in is better is just simply better even if it's two times crop only and uh, here five times crop it's unsharp but what you can do also is go into p50 pockets night mode and this time it redeemed itself Let's compare it and we have like here this and we have here this again the mate access is better because it has the tele zoom lens that is doing a little bit better job but the p50 pocket is not so far away and you can see it has a little brighter exposure here also in the background you can read this sign here where it's like a bit of more noisy going on uh, yeah in general i think in terms of night photography as, as soon as you zoom in the mate access wins as soon as you zoom out and go to the ultra wide angle the p50 pocket wins and i think in general the p50 pocket's main sensor even though it might have a smaller aperture might have a slightly slightly smaller maybe sensor maybe it's also a bigger sensor i don't know but in any way it has i think a slight advantage advantage against the mate xs what do you think write it down in the comment section so what do you think which camera do you like better the p50 pocket with its punchy colors and yeah slightly better low light performance or the mate xs which is with its more natural color i think a little bit larger sensor size and yeah nicer photos overall i would say and not so punchy colors which one do you like better write it down in the comment section this is everything for this video i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye